This is dash camera video from Rick Brown's trip west on I-10 near Washington Avenue to pick up his kids from school May 11th. I had played it out in my mind. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's right. And then she puts 40 grand or so in there to rub that shit in my face. You know what I'm saying? She wants me to know she ripped me off. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. A crash on the I-10 where the victim blames a semi-driver who left the scene. In this uh, news clip right here, we're going to see an accident that's happened where a four-wheeler came across, hit another car, and then the other car came and hit that car. And it's all because they claim, they claim allegedly that a semi-driver caused the accident. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Well, a hit and run crash on I-10 leaves three people hurt and it is all caught on camera. We want to show you a little bit more about what happened in that incident. Yeah, it's a story you'll see only on two. One of the victims tells us it happened just, it happened because of a semi truck, but the driver responsible took off from the scene. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry has the full story and what the law says should have happened. This is dash camera video from Rick Brown's trip west on I-10 near Washington Avenue to pick up his kids from school May 11th. I had played it out in my mind that I, I was going to hit the car. This is the moment of impact when Brown and his father hit the car, leaving the other driver with injuries to his upper body and neck. It was a split second event. Watch again as the car spins through several lanes of traffic. Brown says because of the semi on the right of your screen nicked its bumper while changing lanes, leaving this gash on the back of the car. But he says the truck driver, who still hasn't been identified, only stopped briefly and never came to help. Texas law imposes a responsibility on any driver to stop and exchange information if there's any damage and you have an equally important legal responsibility to remain on the scene and render aid if anybody is visibly injured. Brown has since been trying to piece together video of the crash, sharing it with the hit and run unit in Houston Police Department's Vehicular Crimes Division and reporting it to the trucking company's claims department. I was disappointed to step forward and provide care for him to replace his car and to allow his family to stay on their feet. And Brown hopes anyone who saw what happened or who may know more will contact Houston police. Tonight, we did reach out to that trucking company, but so far have not heard back. Reporting live in the Rice Military Area, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. All right. All right, guys, there you have it right there. You know, the whole news clip where the young man hit the car because of the car veered off in the middle of the street. Allegedly, they all claim that the semi driver was the one that caused the accident but i don't know i mean i i i i oh mm -mm. I, I can't tell that the semi driver was the cause of this accident i mean what do you guys think i mean in, by looking at this video i i saw the car come out of the middle of nowhere and the the driver of the semi truck which happens to be a jb hunt truck i don't understand why y'all blurred it in the beginning and then show it midway and then blur it again i don't i don't understand that i don't understand that and i'm sure if the driver had something to do with the accident you know being the jb hunt driver i'm sure he would have pulled over and made sure that everybody was all right but i honestly don't think that the truck driver had anything or had calls on the accident i think what happened was the other car was probably not paying attention probably veered in the way and then tried to veer back out of the way of the truck and then you know caused several i mean several car crashes afterwards i mean that's just that's just me looking at it i don't know i could be wrong but allegedly they're all blaming the jb hunt driver which again if you guys go back and watch the video and i'll, I'll play the video well you know it should be playing right now but from I'm, I'm serious from what i see 
I, I, I see the car come from out of nowhere. I, I don't. The truck did not de- make no type of deviations from his lane that would make you think that he, he had something to do with this particular accident. Now, if he did have something to do with the accident and he left the scene, yeah, that's that's bad. That's wrong. But I'm sure that JB Hunt driver would have definitely pulled over and and made sure the people was all right in the accident. I don't I again allegedly I I I don't see any deviation from that driver's part. So by him continuing on his way, he may have thought that he didn't have nothing to do with the accident. You know. Now the news people did say they called they did not get no answer back but i'm sure I, i'm i'm sure you know the company seen the tape they getting calls from you know from whoever and i'm sure they probably know who that driver is so before they make a statement they want to make sure they talk to the driver and make sure that he was not at fault see situations like this man is like i said before if we get into any situation, we are always at fault first. And then we are proven innocent. It's always the driver's fault when it comes to an accident. Car runs into us. It's our fault. They want to make sure that they want to make sure that we wasn't on the phone, that we, we were supposed to be doing what we were supposed to be doing. They want to go and make it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, they make a whole investigation why this particular driver is on hold, not making no money for his family. He's sitting there worrying, stressing if, you know, what's going on. Only to come maybe about a month later to find out that he really did not have nothing to do with the accident at all. But this is what we go through on a daily basis. You know, and again, drivers, I, I implore you guys to stay safe out there. Be focused out there. Do what you're supposed to be doing out there, which is the art of driving. Leave the phones alone. I mean, I know I, I, it's so tempting. It's so tempting to start doing TikToks. It's so tempting to start doing live feeds. It's so tempting because you're bored. You're, you know, there's nothing to do. Your mind is racing and all that other good stuff, man. Put all that stuff down and do what you're supposed to be doing, which is the art of driving. And then I believe we will all be safe on the road. Again, allegedly, um, allegedly they blaming this truck driver, which from the video i honestly can't say or definitive proof that the truck driver had anything to do with this accident big cheese got it locked boy want you to let me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real wet yeah swim around want you to take it like a g and i'll make a sound and i want you to miss me when i'm not around come dive in my ocean for my boat my love is like lotion it's all love